Hey everybody, Main Dean back at you with another video today. Today we are, well, I'm doing two things today. First, we're going to finish off uh, the first um, section, the first uh, Best of Eleven series of uh, BC vs. The World. As you've been following along, and I know you have, it's 5-5. Five, five. I decided that I wasn't going to go on forever with this. I'm going to call it this first one a Best of Eleven. I'll come back to it at some point. I need to make some lists of some other stuff because I actually ran out of the ones that I had written down uh, planning to have in this series. So, uh, what have I got here for you today? We're doing a little Cabernet Sauvignon, and uh, as, you, as you know, if you've been watching, I try to make them the same year. I try to make them around the same price point. That's not the case here. So why am I doing this? Well, let me explain. Uh, over here, the BC wine is Comana 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon from, of course, from uh, uh, the Okanagan, uh, Naramata Bench, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, no, Golden Mile Bench, excuse me, of course, Golden Mile Bench. Um, the current vintage of this is $39 from the website, and you can only get it from the wine club. So you can't get it from the website. If you're a wine club member, you can't. I, I, I believe we've seen this other places. I think it does get sold to some retail locations. Um, I think everything wine used to carry it. Don't quote me on that, but I think they do. 2016, okay? So it's had some time to age. We just pulled out of the cell. Excuse me. Pulled out of the cellar, and we're going to try that. And I'm putting it up against $17.99. That's not fair, right? Well, wait. This is Lost Peak Cabernet Sauvignon from the Columbia Valley of Washington, 2019. So it's current valley, current vintage. The back it says, waiting to be discovered. Now, the actual regular price of this is $23.99 at BC Liquor Stores. It's on sale right now until March 5th for $17.99. I've never tasted this. I'm a big fan of Washington State Cab Sauce. Uh, full disclosure, 90% of the Cab Sauce I have tasted have been really expensive. Um, Leonetti, Colmena, the, the big boys. Um, my experience with the cheaper um, Cal uh, sorry, um, Washington State Cab Saws has also been very good, like uh, Chateau St. Michel has a single vineyard uh, Cab Saw, but on the $40 price point, which is really good. But I've never had one that's under 20 bucks. Okay, even $23.99 at BC Liquor Store. If it's $23.99 at BC Liquor Store, what are they selling it for at the wine rate? Can't be more than 15 bucks, right, probably? Okay, so. I was going to have the wife come in here and do her switchy switchy routine, but there's such a huge difference in color, she can't fool me, no matter what she does, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, I'm just going to taste them. Uh, like, this should be unfair, right? A $40 bottle of Canadian Cab Saw from a, a well, uh, high quality producer against a, a, you know, even say a $23 bottle of uh, Cab Saw from Washington State. It gets imported up here. Well, this should clobber it, right? Maybe it will. And if it does, BC wins the challenge and everybody's happy. But I'm not so sure it's going to. We'll see. Okay. Let's see if this Washington cab saw makes me look stupid or not. I know it's not that hard to make me look stupid. I get it. I get it. Let's see. Oh, very fruity. Oh, blueberry, blackberry. Cassis. A little bit of smoke. Um, it's a little bit jammy. That scares me a little bit. It's a little jammy. Not uh, overpowered and so, but more, more, it reminds me, I wonder if it's 100% capsule. I definitely did check that. I'm sure it probably is, though. Doesn't say. Uh, of course, they have different rules in the United States than they do here, right? They get a lot more leeway. Just says caps off, so I don't, I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's all the black fruits. Black cherry, black plum. Cassis, did I say that one already? Hmm. Okay, look at, look at blueberry jam, I think. It's still 2019, hasn't really developed any tertiary characteristics yet. There's not much in the way of non food aromas other than the smoke. No tobacco or leather or anything like that yet. Alright, let's dive right in. Let's see. Mm. I'm not jamming in the palate at all. Mm. Okay, that's good. That's good. So I told you that this is going to be a dual purpose video. I'm doing this, obviously, and this is also going to be, I'm going to feature this one uh, in, this, in the second part of this video, which is going to be a Max Cheap and Cheerful video. So I'm hoping that I like this and I'm going to be able to recommend it to you as part of that series. But for now, I've tasted this here. I'm going to leave it and go over here to call them. I've had this wine, uh, probably after the wine, I don't think I've opened it since. We have some in the cellar. Oh, I think I have a 13 and a 14 back there, but I, didn't want, I wanted to get as close to the years as I possibly could, for fairness. Okay, so... It smells like what I think it's my lip. 
a little bit of earth, a little bit of black fruit. I'm sure this is a high percent cab, so I'm, I'm sure they are. Uh, I don't think they slip anything else in there. No. So, yeah. Okay. 2016. So, six years old, uh, five in a bit, right? Okay, so a little more complex. Clearly much older. Um. Coffee, dark chocolate, a bit of tobacco, not a lot of fruit. I told you it wasn't going to be a slam dunk, I just knew it. are still pretty intense, grippy, medium plus acidity. So this would, uh, really not much fruit in it, honestly, on the nose or the palate. It's developed all those secondary tertiary characteristics and kind of lost the fruit. Not lost, there's some there of course, a little bit of blackberry, black plum seeds, but way more fruit in this one. Okay, so, I said before I'm a pretty big fan of Washington Cab Socks, and I am. I'm also a very big fan of BC Wine, hence why I do this. Uh, and it's basically, I know it's a wine channel, a wine vlog, but I, I mean, 80% of my, 70% of my vlogs incorporate BC Wine somehow. Maybe not 70, but a lot of them do. Uh, I'm very pro BC Wine. Cabernet Sauvignon, on the other hand, there's not as, few, as many... BC cab sobs that I get excited about. Whereas I don't think I've ever had a bad cab saw from Washington State. I'm sure there are some. You can get a bad anything from anywhere, right? You guys have tasted a lot of wine over your lives, you know, oh well, yeah. There's a, you can get, you got bad Bordeaux, you can get bad Pinot from Burgundy, you can get bad anything from anywhere. It exists. Okay. Okay, yeah, Washington wins, sorry. Um, it's actually not that close. <sighs> sorry, BC. Anyway, the purpose of this series was to show, I'm sure there's some people out here that aren't uh, that familiar with BC wines. I'm sure some of you are in other parts of Canada, and I'm sure that I know there's people from other parts of the world that watch this. We have world-class wines in BC. Yeah, they lost this 11, we lost this 11 game series, six to five, but that's still pretty good. And I bet you we'll win the next one. Well, we'll see. Um, and some of the, you know, I, I know I look back to some of the other um, videos I did in this series, and a couple of them were pretty unfair. I mean, I put a brilliant, I remember putting a little engine Chardonnay, which was brilliant, up against uh, Paul Hobbs' single vineyard Chardonnay, which is one of the best Chardonnays I've ever had in my life. So that wasn't, I mean, they were great wines. It just, they were, or maybe it was a checkmate. I'm going to checkmate uh, up against Paul Hobbs. But anyway, it was, it was, I didn't mean it to be unfair, but it, you know, it, it wasn't going to be that. I think I rated that Paul Hobbs Y98. <laughs> um, believe that's the highest I've ever given a Chardonnay. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I try to be as fair with price point and years I can. Uh, here you found one with a much, much cheaper wine, um, kind of dominates the more expensive one. Uh, and that, I don't think that's happened a whole lot. But I had a feeling in this particular challenge that this one was going to show well. Um, neither one of these wines is one that I would uh, put at the top of my all-time best Cabernet Sauvignon list. But for $23.99, and for right now, for $17.99, go buy a case if you're in BC. Um, I don't know how, I don't know if you can get a better $17. I'm trying to even think about some of the cabs that I've had around that price point. I think I mentioned in my last video that uh, Louis Martini makes a 
a cab sov from they have them from Napa, which is in the $45 price range. I think they have one from um, Sonoma County, which I haven't bought for a, a couple of years, but it used to be in the $20 range. So it would be very comparable to this. Uh, and this is better than that, um, especially at $17.99. Um, like, I don't know how much better it's going to get than that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I was tricky beetle now. I don't know what I'm age like. I don't maybe it maybe if this was three years old or as old as this one is maybe it wouldn't be as good. I but it's it's fresh and it's bright, it's fruity and it's it's not that complex. This is more complex, no question about that. But sometimes simple can be good. And when simple's good, simple's good. And that's pretty darn good. Wow. Waiting to be discovered. Our wine is a tribute to the Cascade Range. Lost amongst the clouds for much of the year, its majestic peaks provide the, quote, rain shadow that allows our vines to thrive, thrive and create bold, expressive flavor. Yeah. And it mentions at the end here, at, uh, soft tannins, yes, it's not grippy, and undertones of chocolate and coffee. Those are just starting to kind of arrive. This has been in the glass for 20 minutes. It was all fruit at first, at first, but now it's really coming along. Okay, so uh, that's it for this part of the video. I'm going to continue with this one in the cheap and cheerful um, part, and we're going to go on with that one. Uh, and then I'm going to add two more wines and do that for a separate video. They will be separate videos. So this is I'm ending this video now. This is the uh, six to five victory for the world beating BC wines, thanks to this, which is going to be the cheap and cheerful video next. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I would love it if you'd give uh, this video a, a like and a subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps grow the channel, which I'm trying to do. And uh, I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. Until next time, drink great wine. Good night.